thank you for coming back this evening to my channel, Deb Chanel's 40s World, where we get down with the salacious stories of the entertainment world following celebrities. Okay, I tell you, this woman stays in the media. She stays on my social media feed, it seems like, daily. But I got to tell you, it's a must video to see. Yes, one of my videos exclusively given to you the content that is from Media Takeout News, honey. They on the tube saying Atlanta Housewives Kenya and Nene got into a fight at Candy's baby shower. Now, you know Candy is not physically toting her baby or babies this time. She has a surrogate, okay? But they are almost due to fruition, meaning being born. And she called herself, I guess, giving her herself her own baby shower. Well, maybe Tiny tipped in or Monica or whatever. Maybe they tipped in, put something together and say, hey, we're giving you a baby shower, girl. Get with it, get with it, get with it. But anyway, the journalist over there at Media Takeout News is Tiffany Brockworth. She updated it today to confirm that, yes, indeed, they did have some arguments. We're going to say that because I hadn't read the article and I would hate to think it was a physical altercation when hands got put to the face, to the cheeks, to the head, you know, or even to the uh, stomach area. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to get right on into it to see if it's worth doing it on this tube. Okay. I try to give you entertainment you can use, but sometimes I know you just want to throw it in the trash, okay? But let's get into it. It says the new season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta is going to end with a bang. Hell, it ain't got started yet. What they talking about? It's going to end with a bang. But, okay. We're going to read on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Media Takeout News have confirmed that the season finale will include a physical altercation between housewives Kenya Moore and Nene Lees. Okay, when they say physical, that means they put hands on somebody's body parts. Okay, some body parts of each other. All right. Oh, my goodness. It, we spoke with a person close with production and they broke the explosive news to us. The insider explained it all popped off at Candy's baby shower, which is the last scene film for this season. That would have to be. Now we got to, how many episodes they going to have in this season? 12. 12? You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Okay. We're talking about how many episodes are they going to give us this season that we have to tread through to get to the season finale that they've been showing pictures of it since they even said they had stopped. Well, it was probably before they had stopped filming, which I think was last week. Well, the new season, but anywho, anywho, we're gonna go on through it, okay? But they saying this brawl that we got to wait. I'm gonna say I'm just gonna estimate maybe seven to ten episodes. We gotta watch in season twelve before we really get this uh hand-on altercation type of physical contact. All right, but anyway, it says um. All of the housewives attended the star-studded baby shower for Candy, Todd, and the couple's surrogate. And it was supposed to be the highlight of the show, okay? But Nene and Kenya had to mess things up. The insider told media takeout news the latest started arguing, and then things got physical. Okay, I'm like, oh, is this another Porsche thing which they grabbed that half? Then you find out what's real, what's attached. Or what you could just jank, yank off, or jank off, or pull off, however you want to see it. Is that Kenya Moore real hair? We know that ain't Nene's hair. Okay, we know she probably bought us a bat. But anyway, just my idea, just my assumption. Don't know that for to be a fact or not. But boy, oh boy. Mm. Okay, going back to the article. Excuse me. It said, um... I can't say who grabbed who, but the two ladies were tussling and security had to break them apart. Lord, that probably been the time when Nene probably told Kenya that she ain't have no husband. He was fictitious and she hired him, honey. That's probably what it was. Because I can't think of anything else being explosive. Unless she talked about Greg and her not being there for Greg. I don't know. What could it, what could it have been, y'all? 
we ought to get the fact checkers in that think they know Kenya and the fact checkers that think they know Nene. And we need to put out some uh, comments to see what we can come up with before the season starts. So we already, already have a plan of action or what we think might happen at the end, that very last episode. But anyway, it says what's crazy is that it was a baby shower. So children were there. A baby could have gotten hurt. Luckily, no one was injured. The season of the Real Housewives, excuse me, of Atlanta will return on Bravo TV on Sunday, November 3rd. Now, see, that's a first because I attended a few baby showers and there's no kids there. You know, sometimes they try to have it for like a co ed baby shower where you have the men uh, there and they're participating. And you have the women. It's very seldom that I think out of my lifetime of going to baby showers that we actually had kids there. You know, most mommies want to just be in the midst of the baby mama and just want to joke around and play with her. They don't want to be running after their two or three year old, you know, telling them to stay out of trouble, this, that, and third. So that's new. That's new to me. But y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all think about it. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going in and out because I got a cold and I took some medicine. So this might be my last video, but I don't know. I just have to see what my notes are saying. See what I got to talk about because I'm still trying to talk. Okay, I might be getting a little sleepy here because of the uh, medication I took. But hey, when you got to talk, when you got to put the news out or entertainment, Hey, it's better than talking to myself. I'd rather talk to my computer screen. No, I'm going to have y'all listening to it at least. Or when I get my computer, y'all will get to see me on live and in color with my yawning, with my singing, with my all my antics that I want to give you. But y'all tell me what y'all thought about this video, girls and gentlemen. Honey, I want to know what the what the coffee was. Y'all might say what the tea was. I'm saying the coffee because I'm black. I don't drink. I don't get down with that tea thing unless really I don't like it because I'll drink hot cocoa or I'll uh, get some lemon, lemon water kind of make me have a sour stomach. But I'll gargle with some Listerine in a minute. Try to kill those germs and I'll, you know, drink some warm stuff. But I ain't with that tea because I tend to put too much sugar in it. You know what I'm saying? So that'll mess me up trying to get, you know, my diabetes to start going back because I'm, I'm in the middle section now. So that's good. I'm still fat, though. Still obese from what my doctor say, from his medical terminology. But I don't have diabetes anymore. So that's a blessing. That is a blessing. My mom blessings, people. Okay. But that's all I have for this video. So y'all chime in. Get your thoughts together. Put them down in them comments. Of course, you know you're not going to have like-minded people. So let people speak. Let them have their say because that's what you do on my platform. As long as you ain't doing no cussing and carrying on and, and you know, call it, God, I ain't got time for all that cussing, okay? I don't even want to hear it pretty much and I don't want to read it, okay? So can we just let y'all get y'all thoughts together when y'all don't calm down and let's have an intelligent conversation, a logical or reasoning type of conversation going on in them comments, okay? All right, because I love to see what y'all saying. I love to read them, honey. I may not comment back to you all the time, but you'll show sure get a like button, you know, because I might be thinking the same thing. And you just don't say what I had to say. It's no comment needed. Just hit that little uh, heart button like I read. Y'all understand where you're coming from. We're going to continue to move on. But definitely keep continuing taking my polls uh, over there on my community feed. Uh, just voice your opinion because, hey, you know, I give the results out, God willing, on that Sunday afternoon, if not Sunday morning. And it ain't my thoughts. I may have put the uh, questions out there, you know, because I was thinking about them, you know what I'm saying? Trying to make it interesting, trying to keep y'all entertained, and trying to get you thinking logical about some of these people we call ourselves in viewing of, or not, I'm going to say, well, we could say following them, but not worshiping them, not putting them on the pedal. So, you know what I'm saying? We just like what they give us from here to there, you know, on each day they want to give it to us. But yeah, go on in there and take them polls and speak your mind. And I give you the results. I'll tell you how it fare uh, at the end of each week on that Sunday. And then we put out some more questions for the next week. Keep your mind stirring. Keep your mind energetic. Keep your mind on an even keel of thinking, okay? 
and let it process how it may. But okay, don't forget to subscribe to me. You know I'm on that bandwagon of hitting 10,000 before June 2020. Okay, I know y'all can help me do it. How you can do that, share my videos, like my videos, and continue to subscribe. Tell others about me. Okay, I'm not boring over here. I give you what you want and some things you don't even need and then ask for. But I give them to you anyway. You might need them, okay? It might be true to information I'm giving you. Okay, because I don't, you know, I don't give you all trash now. And I tell you, allegedly, I don't know if it's true, but it's good conversation to talk about from here or there. All right. But that's all I had. Y'all be blessed. And I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.